Hello and welcome to Best Belunker Reviews. My name's Jason. This morning you join me on a walk not too far from my house on what must be said as a rather dull and overcast morning. With me today though, I've also got these Vortex Viper HD 8x42mm binoculars and along the way I'll be going over some of their features and highlights with you. Before looking at the binoculars themselves, I thought I'd just go over some of the extras that come with the binoculars um, because I feel Vortex have done a good enough job that they're de deserving of a mention. To start off with, the, the eyepiece covers are fairly standard for a, a roof prism binocular like these in that they're um, made of soft rubber um, and, they, and, and they fit very well to the, to the eye cups, uh, meaning that they shouldn't accidentally fall off. As you can see, they have a, a loop in them, meaning that if you wish to, you can um, uh, attach them to, to your next strap. Likewise, the um, objective lens covers um, have a feature that I, I really do like. They're um, attached um, by a rubber ring to, to, to the actual barrel of the binocular, meaning that um, if you want to look at something, you, you just quickly open them like that, um, look at it, whatever you, you, you need to look at, and then you can quite easily replace them and continue on with your journey thereby um, protecting your um, uh, lenses as much as possible from getting dirty or even worse from getting scratched. Um, they, they too are made of, of a soft rubber and um, uh, do uh, attach fairly well to the, to, the, to the actual barrels and shouldn't come away um, very easy accidentally. Uh, the next thing to mention is the really good quality neck strap. Um, Vortex has done a really good job with these. Um, they, as you can see, they're nice, nice and wide around the neck, um, distributing, distributing the weights um, more evenly. Um, and on top of that, they, they're really well padded um, and nice and grippy. Um, a really small thing, um, and it is a really small thing, but it's sometimes these small things that um, make a binocular um, from you know a, a good binocular into a really great one. I, I really like this um, little ring over here that um, allows for the. The, the part that goes around your neck and this part of the strap to move more freely. Um, this has the advantage of um, just making there's less movement on your on your actual neck when you keep on lifting them up and down. And, and I'd just like to talk a little bit about the um, sort of construction and um, and the body of these binoculars before going and talking about their optics. Uh, when you when you uh, look at it, as many binoculars as I do, um, sometimes um, you're always looking for the small things that make the difference between a, a good binocular and a really great binocular. And for me, these just feel right in the hands. They, they're really comfortable to hold. Uh, they have nice comfortable thumb indents on the undersides, um, just making them nice, really comfortable and well balanced to hold up to your eyes. Uh, on top of that, as you can see, they have a, a rubber armor on the, on the outside of them. Um, this has a, a few benefits and a few advantages. Um, most binoculars these days do come with a rubber armor. Um, and, and 
it, the reason for this is because they have so many benefits. These include obviously protecting the optics, um, but on top of that, they do provide a better grip um, as well as they provide some soundproofing. Um, it's, a, it's a small thing, but if you're, if you're observing birds that are easily frightened or, or wildlife, um, if for instance, like what sometimes quite often actually happens to me, your, your wedding ring um, hits against the body of, and if this was a metallic object, it would make quite a high, high pitched sound, which could um, frighten away whatever you're trying to, to get up close to. Okay, um, these binoculars are, are fully waterproof um, as well as um, uh, fog proof. They've had all the, the air inside of them um, replaced with the dry gas, uh, making them um, fog proof. The other advantage of this, um, fog proofing and waterproofing, um, which may not seem um, immediately obvious, is in, in dry environments when there's lots of dust around. Um, because they are waterproof, this will prevent any um, dust or something um, entering the system and then um, um, getting caught on the inside of, of the lens and thus destroying your view. Okay. Um, as far as weight and dimensions go, these are fairly lightweight for a quality binocular um, and the reason I say quality is that sometimes you, you get uh, binoculars that are extremely lightweight um, but they are so lightweight mainly because they have um, a lot of cheap quality components and I'm thinking like plastic components and things like that uh, which is obviously lighter than making a, a stronger binocular but a, a higher quality one. The, the focusing wheel is, is nice and large, um, it moves really smoothly and it, it's nice and grippy. Now um, on a day like today um, it, it, it doesn't really make a difference how grippy your um, focusing wheel is. But you can imagine in winter when I'm, I'm wearing big thick gloves it's quite nice to have a, a focusing wheel that's very easy to um, access and um, easy to move. A real highlight on these Vortex binoculars is their uh, minimum close focusing distance of only 5.1 feet, which I think is about 1.6 meters. Um, you know, anything under six feet, um, I consider to be very, very good. So um, these are, are well up there with the very best um, full-size binoculars in terms of close focusing distance. Um, and it's just something that you may want to keep in mind if, like me, you like looking at things like butterflies, dragonflies, um, you know, or as I was doing down there, um, just some really pretty flowers. Just to summarize, uh, I'd just like to say that um, Vortex have made a, a cracking pair of binoculars here. Um, I, I, I really do like them. They feel very comfortable, um, fairly lightweight, uh, and, and fairly compact for a full-size um, 8x42mm binocular. They use really high quality um, optical elements, um, a glass and, and, the, and, and the prisms, which translates to a really um, good quality, bright and crisp um, image. Um, and yeah. If, if I had to be slightly critical of anything, I, I'd possibly um, want for a, a, a possibly a slightly wider field of view. You know, um, it's not bad, but can, compared to some of the very best out there, uh, the best binoculars, it, it does fall a little short. Um, worth bearing in mind though, that when I'm talking about the very best binoculars out there, I'm also talking about binoculars that have a, a far bigger price tag than these do. Yeah, so 
For more details, please um, take a, a quick look at my website where um, I fully review these. Um, I go over all the specifications as well as all the coatings and all the elements used. Um, so yeah, um, and apart from that, just um, to say I hope at least some of this information has been useful to you and that um, you do find what is for you your ideal uh, binocular.